Kevin, it's Brian Kenny. Welcome to the show. Hey, Brian. Thanks for having me. I want to, I want to get the strikeouts to walks because that's where it's at. And you're bringing it. First, Kevin, <laughs> tell us about being in that wild card race. What is it like going to the park every day, you and your teammates, knowing that you're in the fight like this? Uh, it's, it's a really good feeling. Uh, we haven't had this feeling in a long time. Um, I've been here now for about four or five years, and uh, there's a certain kind of buzz that we have, I think, in our clubhouse. And um, I think every single day, guys are giving their best effort. Uh, we got a young team. Uh, we got an ex we got experienced guys as well. And um, I think from the leadership side of things, uh, we're, we're handling things really well. So um, I'm just proud of this team. We, we battle every single game. We went through a rough stretch in July, but um, we're here now in August or uh, September, my, my mistake. We're here in September, and we got meaningful games we're playing for, so um, there's a lot to be excited about right it, now. You bring up a good point. You cut the story of your season. You got off to a great start. Then you had that bad dip, but you were able to come out of that. You mentioned leadership. What are you talking about with that? Um, I think just um, having a sense of, you know, guys' ideas. Because I think, like, we have a young team. There's a lot of young players that we have. And um, I think for myself or either other guys, I don't know, but um, to help the young guys up here because ultimately we want to win. And I think bringing that same kind of energy every single day and um, leading by example helps. And um, I think we got the right pieces here, like I said. I think uh, you're starting to see that everything kind of come together. and. Um, I, like I said, I'm just I'm excited for this, and however it goes, um, I think we can hang our heads high after the season we've been doing. Yeah, Kevin, I threw in a bunch of numbers there, but you're also nine and zero, which I don't do a lot of win-loss record. But uh, do you come in trailing a lot uh, and then like stick around for when your team takes the lead? How has that worked? Uh, it's. <laughs> I, I was joking around it, uh, about it the other day. It's kind of a lucky stat, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously I'm getting thrown into games that are close and, um, you know, somehow our team finds a way to pick me up or, you know, we score a few runs. And, um, you know, I think it helps lift the guys up a little bit and, um, you know, definitely trying to bring a little different energy and intensity when I'm out there as well. Um, I think there is something that I can do to help this team, I, I you know, I'm, I'm going to do that, and I think we, you know, for me, it's 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 about the team at the at the end of the day, and um, I love this organization. I've been here now a long time. I love the people here, and I think we're building something special here. So uh, we're just going to take it day by day. Yeah, you guys, you have an identity, right? You guys, you have your defense. You you guys run hard. You get after it. I want to ask you about your pitching philosophy, though. You sit 96. You bring it. Anybody who's watched you pitch, you get after it. Give me your pitching philosophy in what you try to do. Um, you know, it's funny, I, I've kind of evolved as a pitcher now, but a lot of the stuff I, I still do the same. Um, I think I'm just more consistent now, but, um, you know, I, I, I definitely have the high velocity, so I'm going to work up and down in the zone, um, in and out, and obviously my, my, my bread and butter is my breaking ball, so um, I think for me, it's just being more consistent now. That's what we're starting to see, and, um, you know, I think for me, it's about, it's about the mindset. Uh, making sure my head's in a good space and um, you know I, I've definitely had to take some growth and mature a lot as I've uh, gotten older now so um, you know I think it's all kind of coming full circle. You know I can, you can see we just ran a clip there Kevin and you can almost see your fastball rides uh, your slider dives uh, but your commitment is there is that what you're talking about it's like when you throw a fastball you're committed to it. Uh, no doubt about it. Um, you know, my, my preparation has kind of taken a step up as well. Um, you know, I'm preparing way earlier in the game now, uh, looking at hitters and kind of developing a game plan on what I want to do. And I think that gives me a little, uh, you know, a step or two ahead than most guys coming into games. And, um, you know, I, I just want to deliver for this team. And um, the more I keep doing that, I think uh, good things are going to happen. And um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the, the results, but I'm also committed to my routine, and uh, that's what I'm going to fall back on at the end of the day. Yeah, let's talk about that. Give us a, a look behind the scenes here. Brent Strom is your pitching coach, highly regarded in the game. You have a bunch of pitching assistants. The Diamondbacks were kind of ahead of it in getting separate pitching assistants as liaisons to get reports to players. How do you get your scouting reports, and how do you use intel to what you do on the field? Um... 
it's funny, I kind of go back and forth with that. I think there's a balance that you have to have. Um, sometimes you want to pay attention to the numbers, but you don't want to dig too far deep into it. Um, you know, I think we tend to over analyze things. And um, at the end of the day, my job is to get the hitter out. And um, it's the battle between 60 feet, six inches. And uh, it's that cat and mouse game every single day um, with the hitter. And um, I think for me, looking at the numbers and kind of developing a game plan like, oh, how is this pitch working? How's that pitch working? And kind of, you know, figuring out as you go. But um, it, I think it's a good resource to use um, if, you know, you're working on, if you're wanting to work on something or develop a new pitch or whatever the case may be. So the information is there. I think it's just all about how you use it. Right. Okay. I, I'll end with this then. You have this image on your social media. Even I had to go back in my own memory banks. Playing guitar with Alice Cooper. How did that, ha Alice Cooper, how did that happen, Kevin? <laughs> um, well, let me first say that I, I don't know how to play the guitar, so that, that is obviously uh, okay. <laughs> that is obviously stage. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I got in touch with Alice through a friend uh, a couple years ago, and um, I got in touch with his team, and um, I, I wanted to develop a really cool idea to help uh, uh, underprivileged teens in the Phoenix area. And, um, you know, a couple years ago, every home strikeout I would get, I would donate a guitar. And um, I'm continuing to do that this year. So um, it's a really cool thing to help kids, uh, you know, I think stay off the streets, stay out of, you know, rough neighborhoods and stuff. And um, it's called Alice Cooper uh, Teen Rock Center. So um, a lot of these kids can have a place they can go to after school or wherever. And um, whether they're in rough backgrounds or wherever, they, wherever they're at, um, I think gives them, you know, something to do and uh, creates a sense of community. And um, I think it was, for, for me, it just, it, it helps me and it makes me feel good knowing that the kid's getting helped. Excellent. So. And you'll, you, might, you might have like 80 strikeouts. It's a lot of guitars, right? <laughs> it's getting up. And what is it? It's, it's, if, yeah. if they're looking up Alice Cooper Teen Rock Center, is that what it is? If they're looking it up? It's, um, I believe it's Alice Cooper Teen Rock Center. Yeah. Okay. They can, they can find it mm -hmm. from there. I, well done. Yeah, do you, do yeah, you come yeah. out? Do you use walkout music? Do you use? Do you have Alice Cooper walkout music? I did. I, I've kind of <laughs> over my career. I've kind of bounced some music around. Um, now, now I have you know a Top Gun walkout song, which is kind of cool. Um, it kind of spoke to me just because my <laughs> my San Diego roots, I guess. But uh, it's uh, you know now I, I feel like I've probably found something that that stuck with me a little bit. All right, good. No, you got to evolve and you got to use uh, different things that fire you up. Again. <laughs> and Kevin, congratulations yeah. on the success again. Uh, we'll be watching you down the stretch. Good luck today against the Mets. Thanks for joining us. Th thanks so much, Brian. Appreciate it.